everybody. This is Miss Hardman again. And last time we were together, we talked about how to use lines to create art. A lot of artists, or most artists in, in the past and, and now use lines to help make their artwork. And uh, we've seen this all the way back to cavemen's times. Now today we're gonna talk about shapes and how to use those shapes and how to use those shapes to create and make your own pictures. So let's start with some very basic shapes and I'm gonna show you, we're not gonna get into some really complicated ones, but I wanna show you some round shapes and some shapes that have corners or angles. The first one that I wanna talk about is a circle. A circle is a round, a completely round shape like this. Then, if you just stretch that circle out a little bit on the ends, just like this, you're gonna get an oval shape, just like that, O-V-A-L. And if you stretch out the oval a little bit on the ends, you will get an ellipse. Now, an ellipse, it's, not, it's kind of a long word, but I always remember it like this. Right in the middle of ellipse is the word lips. So you can remember it that way. It's a stretched out oval shape. And I'll show you something else too that we use a lot when we're, when we're making our artwork. If you cut that circle right in half, just like that, not a perfect half, but if you cut it in half, just like that, you're gonna have this shape. And if you cut the circle in half, it's just called a half circle. So we'll just put that out here by the side, half circle. Boy, do we use these round shapes a lot when we create art. Now, I also want to talk to you about some shapes that have corners. In fact, when you look at this part of this right here, it says angle, rectangle, triangle, so forth. Angle is from a word that means corners. So the first one we want to look at is a square. That's when all the sides are exactly the same. Now, do you remember how we stretched out the circle? We're gonna stretch out the square a little bit on the ends. And when we do that, we have a rectangle, just like this. Now, rectangles don't always stand straight up and down. They might be out to the side, or um, even they, they might be diagonal. We, were, we learned that word last time. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if we cut this square down the middle or just take a little part of the corner off just like that or even the rectangle just like this we will have something called a triangle a triangle looks just like this it only has three sides if you look at this part right here of the word triangle then tri means three i know that you remember Whenever you were a little kid and you had a tricycle, it had three wheels. Now this has got three corners or angles, just like I mentioned before. So if you have a triangle and just like that, where you drew a triangle right here and you, not, and you add another triangle on the bottom of it, you're gonna have something that's called a diamond shape. And we use that a lot in our artwork as well. So we have round shapes and we have shapes that have corners. And we also use this shape a lot. This is a fun shape that I think you'll like a lot. It's rounded on the top and it has an angle on the bottom, a heart shape. So let's look at these shapes and and try to remember them. They're really easy to make. I'm gonna show you how to use them a lot uh, when we make our artwork. Now, I also wanted to show you something else. Some of some really great artists have used shapes in making their pictures. So let's just look over here for a second at 
some of these uh, artworks. And I will show you that um, I love this artist. This is Jonathan Green. And Jonathan Green is a South Carolina artist and he uses lots of beautiful colors and lots of shapes in his paintings. It, I bet you can find another one. This is another Jonathan Green over here. But just let's look at this one. In this picture, Jonathan Green is on this tablecloth, uses lots of round circle shapes for the decorations. When you see this up here on this pie plate on the countertop, he's got triangles. And this cylinder, this big can or pot over here, um, is, is basically a rectangle that's kind of rounded off. Love how he's got those circles again on the kerchief on this lady's dress. And you can see triangles right here and the tie on her apron. Very just beautiful way of using that. And if you can kind of use your imagination here, a little hard to see, but he's used some heart shapes on the folds of this fabric right here. Now I'm going to skip over to this picture because you can see it a little bit better. And it's a, an enlargement or a detail of a picture. This was actually a painting that was done by my aunt. She was pretty well known in her time, but you can see that this is a wine bottle or um, I guess you could say a decanter and this beautiful round shape or circle is used for you know the part that holds the wine. And this is, is kind of a rectangle this part that's called the throat of the bottle. And again, I wanted to show you this other Jonathan Green picture. There's a round shape on the hat. Ooh, look at these great lines he's used here for the decorations on the shirt. Circles and rectangle shapes kind of look like the, the legs look like rectangles. Beautiful colors too, I want you to notice that as well. Now this is a detail painting from Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe is a very famous artist who did a lot of paintings of the American Southwest. And you can see here, look at those curvy lines that she used for the hills. And right here, a beautiful shape, round circle, circular shape for the, um, you could say a sunset, I suppose. Here in the middle is a famous artist whose name is Paul Cezanne. And this is called a still life, meaning that the things in the picture don't move, that's still. And you can see all this fruit, some peaches it looks like, and some apples, very round circular shapes. But look at this cloth right here, a nice triangle shape. And you see the legs of the chair that it's sitting on, rectangles. Now skipping over here to this picture, a nice um, seascape, remember we said, an outdoor picture that has water in it is called a seascape. And look at the triangles on these sails right here. And you see rectangles over here for the roofs of the house, houses and uh, the buildings and uh, rectangles here for that window and the way this diagonal line goes right here. It's, oh, and rounded shapes here for the bushes. Really nice circle type things. And when you look at this picture down here, Another landscape, but this one is, has houses in it. And you can see a triangle. Look at the diagonal lines making that triangle. Rectangle here for the window and for the chimney, that chimney as well, and see how that, those lines are joined together. We talked about this last time, how lines can be horizontal, like this fence, and then the posts are vertical. And I wanted to show you the, a detail from this same picture because these are, um, this is an example of how in nature you can see shapes as well. Look at these angles right here for the branches. Just if you fill that in, if you do another line straight across, it would actually make triangles. Isn't that neat? And here's a great triangle right here on the trunk of this tree, one of the big limbs comes across just like that, and it makes a triangle. Isn't that neat how great artists have used shapes? And that's exactly what we're gonna do in our next little video that I'm about to show you.